Making an ecosystem in a bottle is a science experiment that allows you to study the delicate balance of nature and how an ecosystem thrives or fails. It shrinks the scope of nature down to a small area that makes it easier to observe. There are some of the bottle ecosystem can survive for many years. This include plants, dirt, and moisture, the basic necessities for life to survive inside the bottle or a container. Here are the materials for making an ecosystem in a bottle. Instead of a bottle, I use an empty plastic container, stones, soil, flowers, moss, water, fish, and also water lily. I use these materials because aside from this are the materials available in our place, but also I think these are the best materials that will make my ecosystem in a bottle better and presentable. The factors that I consider in choosing the plants and animals that I'm going to place in my biosphere in a bottle or ecosystem in a bottle are that the selection of which organisms that I will going to use and how many to begin with. It is important because if you have too many animals consuming the oxygen and not enough plants producing it, the animals will die. And if you have too many plants and not enough animals, the plants may become overcrowded and die. Plants take carbon dioxide out of the air and use the energy from sunlight to take those carbons and string them together to make sugars. It releases the oxygen as a waste product. Animals also use oxygen as a part of the process of metabolism. Plants and animals are therefore mutualistic in the right balance. They help each other to survive because they each produce what the other needs and they each use up what the other doesn't need.
For the five days observing my ecosystem in a battle, I can say that the water needed for the fish is also the water used by the plant to survive. The plant needs sunlight to grow. Without the sun, the plant would start to turn a sickly and would be essentially stop growing. Each element in this ecosystem battle must function properly for the organisms to grow that includes both physical and environmental conditions. This includes the clean water, proper sunlight for plant growth, and clean air are all components needed for the fish to live and the plants to continue to grow.